Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I want to just keep pounding my father. Uh, the mediation yesterday was a success in the sense that I learned more information, all favorable to me, but I'm not allowed to talk to you about the details of it. But I also am going to keep pounding my dad. Remember, I just told you what a terrible, unethical, I, the, the stories just keep coming to me, and I like sharing these with you. Dan Gamble was a very good friend of mine, and he worked in a business, and his skill set was such that I always told him, I said, hey, we ought to open up one of those oil exchange places in Independence. There isn't one. There is now. There is one now up the town center. So I talked to Dan Gamble about it, and I say, Dan, I said, um, we ought to we ought to do this together. He goes, well, I think that's a great idea. I actually tell my dad about it. And my dad goes, yeah, that sounds like a pretty decent idea. A month goes by. I'm talking to Dan Gamble. You can't make this up. My dad, my dad actually met with Jeremy, with Dan Gamble, about the three of them doing the oil exchange place. I said, Dan, he goes, why didn't you tell me you met them? He goes, Eric, I just assumed you talked to them and they told you. <laughs> Trying to steal a business idea behind my back with a friend of mine. Only Charlie Dieters. My dad is a mf -er. He is, he is unfreaking believable And then, tomorrow, I want to keep this short. Tomorrow, I am going to share with you the worst thing that my dad ever did to one of his children. It is a sad and tragic story, and I am going to tell it to you tomorrow. It will blow you away. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you have a great day.